In the midst of the First World War, one of the world's worst railway accidents occurred. French officials' arrogance, impatience and incompetence led to the death of over 675 souls, followed by an outrageous government cover-up. And this is their story. The Great War is in its fourth year and has ravaged large parts of Europe. The need for wartime manpower, equipment and supplies has left the railways understaffed and overloaded. One thousand troops who had been fighting in Italy were ready and waiting for transportation from Turin across the Alps through to Lyon, France. Two trains had been reserved for army use. But because of the lack of equipment and poor maintenance meant that only one locomotive was available. Railway experts warned officials that to use one train to transport 1,000 troops as a preferred solution was extremely dangerous. Officials ignored advice and decided to do their own thing. They hooked up all 19 wooden carriages to the single remaining locomotive and crammed the soldiers inside. The train driver knew full well that the situation was set for disaster and refused to set out from the train station. The driver argued with army officials that yes, the engine was capable of pulling the carriages, but as the train would hit the mountains, the huge weight would put too much strain on the brakes and would cause a potential disaster. However, one of the army personnel drew his pistol and threatened to shoot him if he failed to comply. The soldier felt that as France was at war, that gave him the right to force the driver to comply. This action would later be shown that he should have listened to the driver's concern. On the threat of death, the driver set the train to depart to its destination of Lyon. After some time into the journey, they passed through the Mount Cern tunnel into France, close to the town of Modane, and began the descent down the mountain. Almost immediately, the driver's fears were realized. As the driver applied the brakes of the train, the massive weight of the carriages caused the locomotive to race faster and faster down the steep four mile grade. The friction of the wheels ignited the brakes and all the carriages, setting them on fire. As the train reached the bottom Hitting a speed of about 75 miles an hour, the train derailed when the first carriage jumped off the tracks. The fire started in the brakes, igniting a huge fireball through the carriages. This caused almost half of the accident victims to be burnt beyond all recognition. As the dust cleared, 
and the cleanup began. Eventually, the bodies of over 675 people were found, and the rest were very badly injured. Regardless of the hugely tragic loss of life, as the decisions behind the cause of this disaster were made by the army, the French government kept the details of the accident secret for over a decade, silencing the driver who was lucky to be alive. But the government could not keep the driver quiet forever. Eventually, he came forward and he spilled the beans. A court-martial was called for six royal employees, but eventually they were acquitted. In June, 1923, a monument to the victims of the crash was erected in the nearby St. Michel de Marianne Cemetery. In 1961, the remains of the victims were transferred to the National Military Cemetery. On the 12th of December 1998, a monument was inaugurated near the site of the accident. This disaster remains as the greatest French rail disaster of all time and the second worst rail tragedy in world history.